Hey there, welcome back, Virgo reviewer. This is your very late extended. If you didn't know, now you know. My birthday was August 26th, and on top of that, y'all, I grapple with health issues on a day-to-day -day basis because I have chronic illnesses. But welcome to your extended. Let me shuffle, finish shuffling these cards up. I've been having a full day of cleansing the space in my house. Took me forever to get some of these tasks done. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Kind of doing the work myself and living life. So let's see what y'all got going on. This is an extended from the last reading. The energy, the title of the video says something like, um, you know, stop the kamikaze mission. Let space happen. Let basically let life do what it do. Like allow things to go so that they can be reborn or so they can get new something new. Even if it's hard, y'all, you have to let things go sometimes. All right, so let's get into it. My bad, y'all. <laughs> this is a strange setup, but it's gonna do for now. Okay, let's get into it. What is going on with the Virgo and viewers now? I've already prayed over the space, y'all. Son, Bella's whining because she's not getting no attention. <laughs> all right so virgo viewer okay whoever you are that's watching this on patreon right now right as an extended video you got three cards i just pulled three three represents the holy trinity mastery um and the most solid structure meaning the pyramid being the most solid structure so i love the number three anyways let's get into it you guys got I am strong first and foremost you got work some magic and it looks like you need a vacation right off the bat y'all I'm channeling real hard so I'm just getting to it it looks like you guys have to affirm that you guys are strong quite clearly right you have to affirm that if you don't know that if you don't feel strong right now it is in your best interest for you to affirm I am strong I am prepared I am you know those kind of things because you could be experiencing a lot of change a lot of spiritual attack a lot of falling towers around you. It's retrograde. It's a shit show, right? So works and magic is your next card. Y'all have to get out here. People, if people are sending you negativity, that means that you have to combat that negativity with either doing rituals full of positivity and gratitude and thanksgiving and communion with your guides, or you just need to keep your vibration so ridiculously high and your aura and your space so ridiculously cleansed right that nothing can penetrate your your glowing energy right all of that is magic okay and you can use a vacation when all of that is over and done right we can all do that all right so why are, why is virgo viewer needing to work some magic at this point why do they need to or why have they been needing to work magic at this time okay you guys got a car that fell on the floor okay two of pentacles so i feel like this fell out in the reverse but when it falls on the floor i feel like that's sus energy i also have the fan on if y'all hear a little sound okay so the two of pentacles in reverse i feel like <coughs> it's giving me the energy of somebody like uh, like refusing to juggle something refusing to juggle what they want with something maybe that they don't want so much that's the energy i'm getting from and i'm pulling the helper card just to see what the card says uh, the, the Two of Pentacles in reverse talks about a lack of balance, being disorganized, overwhelmed, reckless spending, resisting the flow of life, you know, finance, practical. Yeah. So now that I just received a download, thank you, Highest Holy Spirit. Thank you, guys, angels, ancestors, fairies. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, the car landed on these cords, so I didn't actually touch the floor, right? Usually when my floor is sparkling clean, I don't really pay attention to the cars thwar being thwarted to the floor. But this particular floor, it's been clean, but I have to clean it again because of I have a I have this puppy and y'all know puppies make accidents, right? So uh, <clears throat> I'm not trusting floor cards right now. So when it fell on the cords, it fell out in the upright. So I feel like you guys went from being in this energy of feeling like you're not <clears throat> like you have this loss of balance. Sorry, y'all, my neighborhood is really uh, noisy. 
just feeling overwhelmed like with stress loud noises irritating energy stuff like that reckless spending you know stuff that we do to cope with not you know being in flow right if we're not in flow or things aren't going exactly how we want maybe we'll drink more spend more money you know more bs kind of stuff right um yeah your finances and practical matters aren't in order the changes are you're not making any change for the better you take yourself from that energy you put yourself back on board to this two of pentacles and the upright energy which is knowing how to balance your decisions knowing that you have priorities knowing that you need to go with the flow knowing that you have to be one with change and allow change to come so that you can have hormone harmony and balance okay you guys know that you're experiencing uh psychic attacks um just um uh spiritual attacks in general and what i feel like guys is that you guys may be in a position where you know you're like you know this and that is going wrong in my life right baby girl is having a hard time getting on this pillow y'all she is really distracting me so some of y'all may have had a hard time like getting on y'all square or feeling like that you're on your square balance ducks in a row right comfortable comfortable right and i feel like you guys are you know you've gotten to this place where you know like maybe i've been getting attacked spiritually or things around me have been getting attacked spiritually that's why i've been afraid to let things go everybody's demons are kind of getting the best of them you know when things like this happen right so anyways let's just continue to go on anything else that the Virgo viewer needs to know wow okay that's way too many cards they came out really crazy okay so here's the thing y'all y'all deserve a vacation because y'all been battling so much bullshit so many injustices justice in reverse so many injustices against you you have to spend all your time taking care and and revert like revitalizing yourself after you have this go on and you just deserve time that you get to pamper yourself and and dot dive into health um you know health healthy things and healthy experiences and allow your spirit to be renewed and your emotions to be renewed because all you've been doing is fighting battles devil here bullshit there shadows here demons there betrayals harsh endings it's 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 like you've been crying over it you've been letting things go you've been realizing that you must it's a must Anything else? What kind of injustices have has the viewer Virgo of you been going through? I'm I'm curious to know what they've been going through so they can know if this reading is really for them. I think you guys know by now, but I'm still wanting to know. I'm, maybe I'm just a little nosy. <laughs> All right, so your work has been getting attacked. Your work, your money, your crafts, things that you care genuinely about, things that'll just set you up financially and make you feel like you are mastering what you came here to earth to do. That stuff is being thwarted. Your ability to let things go emotionally and go with the flow, all of that has been getting thwarted. Usually you're, you're, you don't have problems with work or, or, or handling your emotions, but lately you've been getting attacked. Your ability to even probably see clearly and, and use your wine clearly to, to manifest exactly what you want and experience the what you want to experience on a day-to-day -day basis. All that shit has been getting thrown for a loop, I think, some of you guys. Anything else that the verbal reviewer needs to know? What do they want to know? Yeah, so I feel like there's some fast movement and you're emotionally charging forward towards what you give a fuck about. So if you care about having your ducks in a row with your finances and your practical matters, that's the first thing you're headed towards. If you're passionate about a clean house, that's the first thing you're going towards. If you're passionate about looking good, that's the first thing that you're going towards. If you're passionate about social circles and hanging out, that's the first thing you're going to do. So good job, okay? You're gonna be moving fast toward that. Why? Because you're in that full energy. You're ready to innocently go for what you want and just live life. You're ready to put the fucking burdens down. Lay down. <laughs> I'm about to go home and lay down. <laughs> Your strength is kicking in. All those reserves of strength that you had is really kicking in. Okay, you're able to easily make judgment calls about what the fuck is going on with your life because the, the magic is just dispersing, okay? It's disappearing and you're seeing clearly the smoke and mirrors is over. And now look at you moving forward. And if you're not there yet, that's where you're headed. If you're feeling called to do that, do it. Just do it little by little. It'll be like a snowball effect. Yeah, you got the high priestess. Stay tapped into your intuition because people are really trying to play in your face. People that feel left behind by you. 
all kind of evil eye, all kinds of bullshit. Yeah, temper yourself out. You know, if you've been having a lot of negative thoughts, balance that out with lots of positive visualizations and imagination, right? That's what you need to be doing. If you're not already in this energy of moving quickly towards things that get you back on track, that's where you need to be headed, okay? I'm not going to play with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If some of y'all are up in hermit mode, get the hell out the house. If some of y'all are outside too much, go in the house, okay? If you've been stuck and cramped and inside, go outside. If you need to stay inside, find a way to be social. Invite somebody over. Video chat someone. Okay? Okay? Be social. Okay? Do this fast, fearlessly, swiftly. Okay? And if you need to get some rest, get some rest. Okay? But all you need to be doing is this two of wands energy. Make plans that are yours. Go off on your own and do what you want to do and put the damn burdens down. Put it down. It's not worth it. That's what your reading is. I'm not going to spend any more time on it because that's all <coughs> I feel like needs to be said. Somebody trying to shut me up. I won't shut up, boo. <laughs> yeah, somebody doesn't want to make this decision. Somebody's in a real dark place, I think. Somebody's having a real hard time. You don't want to make that decision. You don't want to pull yourself out of it. Maybe you're not ready to let it go. Is that what it is, Virgo or viewer? You're not ready? You don't know how? Let me find some words for you. Let me find some channeled information from you, from my buddies in the higher realms. If I sound tired, I it's because I am, I've been pretty tired. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, um, I smoked a little reefer, but I'm also just a little tired. Judgment in reverse. All right, so child, that is just as... Now, if anything, it's not even that I'm physically tired. I am. I got terrible sleep last night because mm -hmm, of all the spiritual tech. Mm -hmm, but um, it's also like I'm just tired of this. This, you know. So I'm right there with y'all. Same shit. Okay. I'm not. I'm right there. Literally right there with y'all. So having this lack of self awareness and self doubt, self loathing, somebody is really in a space where you're hating yourself and you're upset that this keeps happening to you and you're confused and you're tired of living on Earth. Earth is so ghetto. You don't know why you're here. Motherfuckers are just not gonna pull themselves out of their own bullshit and give you some loyalty and some teamwork and some help and some assistance and some love and some fucking reciprocity. I get it. You're tired. I'm tired too. But we ain't done yet, gang. We not done. We not done. You gotta let that shit go, boo. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Please, for me. If nothing, for no one else or nothing else, can you do it for me? For Zen? Please? <laughs> what should I tell them, Ice Holy Spirit? Maybe you feel like you're not being able to take care of yourself and your surroundings and others. Maybe you don't want to go off on your own. Maybe you're tired of being on your own. You'd rather be bound to others. But you got to know that there's a bigger plan. There's a bigger plan. There's a bigger plan. It takes a little bit longer to get to. Then not longer as it's going to take forever to get there. I'm saying like you may not see it happening right now. But when you pull yourself up out of this funk, I promise you. I promise you. You're going to see exactly what I'm saying. You're going to see why you should. That that same negative energy, that is the magic. That is the negativity that people are sending you. That is the projection. All those negative thoughts, I can't do it, I'm not, da, 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 that is exactly what they sending you. So if you're eating that, if you're eating that plate that the op made you, are you going to eat food that your op gave you? Are you going <clears> to <throat> believe thoughts that your ops are feeding you? Are you going to believe your emotions? Are you going to believe your mind? The negativity that all your ops want you to fall victim to. Your own demons. You need to stay keen. Stay keen. Ask for a sign. Ask for help. Tap into that strength. It's there. It's there. Give us some advice, please. Spirit said, I'm going to need you to get up. Get out. Cut that bullshit out. I'm just kidding. But no, Spirit said, you are supposed to be in our in in this portal that we're asking you to enter with this full moon it's beautiful it's a beautiful very powerful full moon there's magic being done on all sides light workers dark workers are you gonna sit in your feelings and get attacked or are you gonna 
light a candle and visualize what you want for yourself. You probably gone through experiences that showed you exactly what the fuck you don't want, right? So all you have to do is imagine the opposite of that. <laughs> I know it's hard. They said, let us help you. Spirit guides said that. So please ask your spirit guides for help because you have something right around the corner. That's what I'm leaving you with because what else is there to say? I'm not going to convince you. If you're here, you are not a loser. If you're here, you're not ready. You're, you're not ready to die yet. You might be in pain. It might hurt emotionally, physically even. You might be tired. How can I do this life with the body that I'm given? How can I do this without help? I know. I know. Me too. Why do you think I'm so tired? You know? You got this card right here. It's super pretty. You can screenshot it if you want. But it says, hustle, okay? I will press on until I achieve my heart's desire. This is about not giving up. You are the most creative when you feel stuck and you have no resources. Blaze a trail when there is none. Look for fertile ground to sow your creativity and patiently wait for the harvest. So what it's saying is when you are feeling your worst, that fire and that anger that you feel is the most potent energy of all. And you're going to see that as soon as you get off of this reading and do, do, do what you're being instructed to do. You're part of a team. You're part of an army. You cannot quit. We're only as strong as our weakest link and you are not weak. You are not weak. You are made for this shit. You are built for this shit. Don't forget who the fuck you are. Don't forget why they sent you here. Because you're a fucking master. You're a badass. Don't forget why you were sent here and why you agreed to come. Okay? Guidance. Allow yourself to be guided. Allow yourself to be a guide when the moment arises. <sighs> time. The only time that you can control is right now not the future not the past but right now okay faith faith and presence and guidance is what you should be tapping into meaning fuck yesterday fuck tomorrow fuck a few hours from now i'm living right now this is all i can handle guide me god what do i do right now god might say get up and go wash your face go wash your face get up and go eat some food go eat some food god might say go take a walk go take a walk god might say invite that person over laugh drink be merry that's what you need to do. That's what I have for y'all. And I love you to pieces. Sorry this is late. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for y'all support. I love you. Okay? Peace.